Hello again. Uh, if you remember, this is where we left off last time, and I decided to forego the whole uh, game menu thing because it took forever to load the world. So I'm going to hop back inside of our box over here. Where'd the door go? There it is. And we are... We are going to uh, start on the smeltery today. Uh, for this, you will need seared bricks. There are two different variants of seared items, one of which is used by smelting the tainted soil. Um, these, these are weird things the tainted soils are. I don't know the recipe. Uh, let me go ahead and pull it out right quick. The whoopsie daisies. Okay. The recipe. Oh my goodness, stop being a jerk face. The recipe for seared bricks. Slime soil dirt. How do you make that? Uh, soul sand, gravel, and nether warts. You can also get tainted soil and heat sand and nether warts, but this I think is possibly cheaper. I have no idea. Uh, you can smelt them down to get the brown seared bricks, which is, that's what I used to decorate the bottom half. Uh, these you can get by mixing, um, hang on, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I need some cobblestone, some sand, some gravel, and some clay. This is what you will need. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull out some clay and some coal. I want a block of coal. You'll hop over here. You'll need to make one furnace. Every smeltery starts with a furnace because you gotta smelt the blocks. Uh, we will come back over here, throw in our clay, our gravel, and our sand. This recipe is not shaped, so you can move these around however you like. And you get grout. You throw this into the furnace and it smelts. And when it comes out you get seared bricks. I will go ahead and spawn in a very large sum of seared bricks. I actually only need 16 if I counted right. Uh, 64, 32, 16. Uh, you'll need one tank, one smeltery controller, you'll need a smeltery drain, you'll need a faucet, uh, let's see, stuff to hold it, stuff to hold the lava, stuff to interact with, the actual drain, stuff, something to drain it, something to pour it into. You'll need a casting table, and we'll make our own casting stuff, instead of spawning in a cast, we'll make our own cast. Uh, you can do that with uh, one aluminum. Where's our aluminum? With one aluminum and three copper. And it doesn't matter which copper ingot you have, it's all gonna come out the same. I mean, I really like T Construct, but if you like another mod, you can use it. I like running all my ores, as many ores as I can through these smeltery so I get deconstruct items so that they all always stack. So you'll see that smelting along you get seared bricks. I will go ahead and build this and then show you the recipes. Wait, hold on. I didn't need nine of those. Still, I'm gonna hop out here and show it to you. Uh, let's just decorate this right quick. Okay. No. Mm, maybe. Okay. Uh, you will start by digging out a 3x3 three three hole. And then you can... Fill this in with blocks. You'll need to fill in the back the sides. Okay, now this is where things get... I need one more. I need one more. I need one more! <laughs> I thought I had that counted. Uh, you will need to put down a tank, 
a smeltery, and a drain, but I will show you the way that I like to have it. I believe I needed 18 of those. Darn, I'm really good at miscounting. I uh, dig out this dirt here, throw in a casting table. Now, of course, we're missing that one block there, so we'll go ahead and go grab that. Of course. You'll see that that's all fine and dandy. This thing lights up. When it starts emitting flame particles, that means you have a working smeltery. If you hop inside right now, you won't get hurt. But later on, when you smelt stuff, you will, and it will hurt really bad. We'll go ahead and throw all these in here, but you'll see nothing happens. That's because we need a type of fuel, which we can get via lava. Uh, lava tanks are cool in the fact that they just straight up hold lava. So we'll go ahead and do that. You'll see that it all pops in there. You can't see the copper because I'm using uh, the, uh, what's it called? I don't remember what it's called. Thermal expansion. I believe I'm using thermal expansion copper instead of t Tinker's Construct, like this aluminum. So it doesn't know how to, how to handle that. So it's just going to sit there and smelt it invisibly. And when it gets done smelting, you'll see that it makes a little puddle. That was the aluminum. This is aluminum right here. That's all that's in here if you look at that tag up at the top. The copper is a little bit slower to smelt, but when it all goes through, we should get four ingots worth of brass, aluminum brass. Um. Three copper, aluminum brass. I needed more aluminum? Strange. Uh, aluminum. Go ahead and throw in nine of those. Aluminum. That's just weird. Alright, well, I will go explain how to craft these things instead. Supposing I have enough. I have enough for a few recipes. Uh, to make a faucet, you make a V shape. To make a controller, you make a furnace shape. To make a... Oh, another book. I'm not going to read it. Whoa, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's quite the name. Uh, we need some glass. If you don't know how to make glass, you need to go play more Minecraft in your own home. Just saying. You'll make a tank. Uh, you can make a drain. Ah, perfect number. And seven of these to make a casting table. Now, you'll notice I already have all of that. So, we'll just hop back into creative and delete everything. Uh, I have more aluminum brass. I have one leftover <laughs> aluminum. <laughs> Why do you have to be so mean? Why you gotta be so mean? Okay. And we'll hop over here, pull out one of these bricks. Anything that's shaped like this will work. Ingots, bricks, uh, ingots, and bricks. So you just toss that in there. You click on the molten, alu molten aluminum brass because you have no clue what's hiding out in the very bottom. Clicking on something moves it to the bottom. Uh, we'll go ahead and right click on the spout here and you'll see that this does that little number. Cool. Now what does that mean? I mean, yeah, we, we just got a cast. What do we do with it? You cast things into it. Uh, we just got here ourselves aluminum brass ingot. That, my friend, is what I believe to be one of the, some of the coolest stuff. Um, well, let's see. We can't craft it straight into here. You have to have a tool forge for that. So, it kind of makes sense. Tier 2 thing, tier 1 thing, you need a tier 2 forge versus a tool station. So I'll just go ahead and pull one of those in. Uh, tool forge. Now you'll notice there's a variation for every type of metal. Uh, I can make it out of copper or whatever. I kind of like this iron one. So I'm going to pop it down here. Tool forge. Uh, 
you can hop into here and make even more stuff, actually. Tier 2 items. Um, well, I, you could call this maybe Tier 4, I guess. Uh, tier 1 crafting supplies, Tier 2 crafting supplies, maybe. Ish. You can assemble the pieces that you have uh, that you've casted in the tool station, but you can only make the larger weapons via the tool forge because they all require four uh, four, in, four slots. And also, notice, the last time I made a note that whenever something only required two pieces, it still had that third box off to the side so that you can craft anything anywhere. Same thing here. Uh, the sword only has three, and it adds a fourth one. We'll go over here to the shovel. It adds two. Uh, should there be something that only required one item, that'd be kind of silly. Uh, but you can see them all. And this repair and modification even added an extra slot. So we'll go ahead and craft ourselves up some other stuff. I'll go ahead and show you how to make some other um, tool casts. We will bring in two planks. I want to make an aluminum brass sword. That's a terrible waste of metal, but why not? Why not? Uh, stick tool rod. Uh, head, plank, wide guard. Okay, we are not going to put these together here, because if we do that, that destroys the whole purpose. It makes our point mute. Um, aluminum brass is important. You use it or gold to make all of your casts. Once you make a cast, you cannot melt it down, so make sure you have the right metal selected. To make a cast, you just stick something on here, like we did with that brick earlier, and you cast on top of it. Pretty simple, right? Right. So we'll go ahead and throw that over here, make ourselves a wide guard. And a sword blade. And we are done with these pieces. Uh, I like to put a chest here to hold my thingamajigs whenever I'm not using them because it's just a really handy place. I mean, it's right here beside where you do all your casting. So, uh, you'll need a tool rod. Okay, so you cannot make weapons out of aluminum brass. That's quite the disappointment. But, I can go ahead and show you something else pretty cool. Uh, if you take iron ore and mix it with manganese mang mangi manga manganese or gravel or is just the manganese ore just just give me an ore i want an ore please 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 which one of you is the one I'll be the one. Oh, that was out of tune and ugly. I'll be the one. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'll be the one. Well. <sighs> Manganese. I know it comes in more than just gravel, but whatever. It should smelt anyways. Yep, they're both going to smelt. Uh, they'll probably take a while to smelt, so... Darn. This video is not very well thought out. I don't have anything to show you. So in lieu of showing you anything cool... Bon voyage! Is that blood? Oh! Well, look you there. Okay, I, I thought that you only got blood in your smeltery when you died. Apparently not. Uh, it just hurts a lot. Ish. I mean, sure, if you're a healthy man, you can stand in here for quite the while and get a pretty good accumulation of blood, I suppose. 
Uh, and you're probably wondering, what do I use blood for? I mean, how do I even get that out of my smeltery? You click on it, you smelt it, you get... going okay so every time it takes damage it gets you five micro blocks that might be enough to finish it darn okay well it's finished smelting the iron and the manganese you'll see some steel down here in the bottom that's important steels a really cool thing um, Come on. How much blood does it take to fill up a casting table? Goodness. Well, I'm tired of trying to fill it up. Uh, whenever you cast blood into a blank casting table, you get congealed blood, which they tell me you can eat. I have no idea. Uh, congealed. Blood. It's got a round coagulated. It seems edible, but somehow it's just not appealing. Hmm. Well, how about if I run around a bit? I have no idea what I'm doing here with this coagulated blood, so we'll just 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 smelt it. Right. You can't smelt it. Seems logical. You can pour it out of your smeltery, but you can't smelt it. Uh, steel. We're going to make a steel sword here. Need a steel handle. A steel guard. Oopsie daisies. And... Sword blade. And... We'll go ahead and craft it. You get a broadsword. Uh, Cubos's hash slinging slasher. Yeah. Oopsie daisies. So, we're done with these. I'm, I'm done with these. I don't want to showcase small weapons anymore. I am done with these small weapons. I am shunning the small weapons. I am going to walk away from... Oh, hey, look at this slasher thing. Now, this is probably a really good sword. I've never tested it out against anything, ever. So, uh, back into creative, I suppose. I do a lot of switching between creative and non-creative. Uh, iron... Pumpkin head. Come here, you... We do what we must. And how much damage? How much is that? 18! Yikes-a-ronies! Okay, and I didn't upgrade the sword before, so I'm going to make a cleaver first, and then I'll show you the sword. So we'll hop over here, just see what the cleaver requires. Uh, the big sword. Cleaver, it requires one large blade, two large sticks, and one large plate. Now, I already have all these measurements memorized. That's eight, eight, three, and three. Oh, yeah, these things get expensive. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and... I have no clue which metals are the strongest, so I'm going to go ahead and make this out of manulin. Uh, Set my game mode to creative. Bring out the manulin. Okay, I'll go ahead and pull out a block of this. But then I'm just going to pour a bunch of it into the forge directly. 
because I don't feel like sitting here and waiting for it to smelt. I already know that it takes forever to smelt. Uh, by breaking the smeltery, we update. Oh, it ate my item. We updated the list. Oh, it 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 literally ate the item. <laughs> uh, it updates the liquids to be empty and stuff. Um, I'll go ahead and throw this in. Watch that progress bar. It's not moving very fast. You might be wondering, what the deal? Is it not smeltable? No, everything's smeltable. It just takes forever to smelt. So, I'm going to use a really cool thing I learned a while back. Uh, if you put a tank there, a faucet here, and drop yourself a casting channel onto this drain, it leaves the liquid nowhere to go but in. You can fill these things with any liquid, like liquid manulin, and by right clicking on the faucet it goes directly into this channel here, straight into the drain, right back into the smeltery. So that should give us a fairly large amount of manulin. Um, now you're probably curious, how am I supposed to make those heavy equipment things that I need? If, uh, if, if, if I can only craft the big things over there. The answer, stencils. Uh, previous patterns. Oh, I gotta actually have stencils. Ah, uh, wood. Yeah. Lots and lots of wood. Uh, stencils, it said that I needed, okay, if we go backwards you'll see a bunch of different items than we had before. This is the hammerhead. We need a large blade, uh, a plate pattern, and large tool rods. I'll leave that one there. And we'll hop over here to our part maker. Make a bunch more wood because I have no idea how much this is going to cost. I've never tried this. Okay, so wooden tough rod. We only need one of those because we're going to cast two of them over at the casting place. I need to grab one of these. Leave that there. Grab one of these. All right. Out of 64, that leaves us with 45. Uh, that means 19, I believe. Let's see. 3 plus 8 is 13, plus 8 is 19. 21. That's 21. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw that in there. You'll see it's full of manulin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I gotta have molten, molten aluminum brass. see how much that gets us. I believe that every cast costs only one aluminum brass. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe! Yep, that was pretty simple. Uh, so we'll go ahead and craft all of these. <laughs> and throw the manulin back in the bottom. Alright, we are done with these wooden things now. I believe we're done with all this, actually. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this guy and this guy and all of his buddies on the ground. Why am I lagging so bad? Okay, the mouse is twitching there in case you didn't notice. So we have a tough rod cast, a large blade, and a large plate. It said we needed two tough rods. It takes forever to fill these things because they require so many ingots. Uh, two tough rods. A large blade. Why did I do that? See that? It took forever to fill that. and a large plate. <laughs> uh, 
<sighs> all right all right we're done with these I'm done with these you can do whatever I actually I think I'm going to I lied I'm going to go ahead and pull out something that's made of paper so we'll see which one of these has the least durability 1200 durability 1200 durability just a handle modifier okay okay I'm going to go ahead and pull out a paper tough rod. Uh, paper tough rod. Okay. Head, stick, I have no clue how this is going to turn out. Stick, what well, goes in the middle. Alright. This is going to require testing. Uh, head, stick, stick, nope, head, stick, plate, stick. Okay. Head, stick, plate, stick. That is interesting. The colors you get off of this depend on where you put the sticks. Uh, I don't know where the plate goes. The plate's probably the backing on the blade, so... We'll go ahead and call this Cubos' own cleaver. If only it were a flying guillotine. All right, it's rideable. That's exactly what we wanted. It's already got a lot of durability. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull out the standard Cubos Cube list of things you need for durability. As we did last video, we needed a diamond for more than one purpose. We had an emerald. That was for durability. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull in a gold block to add an extra modifier and a nether star to add even another modifier. Uh, we don't need lapis lazuli, that increases your fortune or whatever, your luck enchantment. Uh, mob drops pretty much. I don't think redstone applies to swords. I want this one to be a powerhouse of a sword though, so I'm going to pull out some quartz. I have no idea how much quartz it takes to make this thing work, so I'm just going to pull out a bunch of blocks and a bunch of actual quartz. Uh, you can do that. Uh, I want it to have pushback, so I'll pull out a piston, maybe. What? Oh, hey, hey, no, 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 no. I was, I was just following directions. Well, anyways, I'm going to craft all this onto my sword right quick. Had a leftover manual and handle. Uh, I'm going to add diamonds. Actually, I don't even need to. If you notice, that's a very, very wimpy upgrade. It's already over 9,000. 9,449, 9,949. Not that impressive. We're just going to forego the diamonds. Go ahead and throw on the extra modifier here. Emerald. Well, bam! Lots of durability. 14,000. Emeralds extremely worth it. And if you don't like the way that it looks cheap, you've already eliminated the fact that it has paper on it by adding that emerald. Uh, I noticed after reviewing the last video, I said that the moss looks ugly, but then I threw all those other things on top of the moss, and it looked gorgeous. Uh, actually, I can recall that. Should I drop these guys? Ugh. Should I drop these guys, I can show you. Uh, look at that. It's got moss on it, but it still looks pretty cool. I mean, the handle still has a little thing on it there. You can't see my mouse, so I'm just gonna, not going to touch it so that you can see it better. But that's that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. I believe that's all I have in this inventory, so I'm going to pick those up again. Uh, hop over here. Uh, the quartz makes it sharper. Uh, it looks like 72 is that that's divisible by 4 so 16 24 32 40 48 56 64 72 and this thing has sharpness now uh, the attack went up to 10.5 hearts but I expect it to be a lot higher because this game has been lying to me this whole entire time uh, piston, I can give it pushback. It makes it look ugly, though. Uh, ooh, knockback. It's a leveled effect. That's cool. Uh, I don't like the way the pistons look, so I'm not going to be adding that. Um, 
Well, let's see, I thought of something else. What did I just think of? Beheading and necrotic stuff. Uh, you need a wither, I think. Wither, nope, you need a uh, necrotic bone, which dropped from wither skeletons. Helps if I spell it right. Necrotic. Necrotic bone drops from wither skeletons. I throw that on there, and it has a chance to steal health. I mean, look at that. It even looks mean now. Put that on the handle, and it just looks straight up terrifying. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull out another lava crystal. I think that adds flame. Let me look here. There's nothing else here that looks mean. So pull out a lava crystal, add flame. That burns your enemies uh, for a long time, I believe. Uh, let's see. What else can I throw on here? I might actually start reading materials and you now. Materials and you. We'll find out what the difference is between these two books. This is not what I planned on doing, but... Okay. Okay. This is learning how to tinker and stuff. Uh, once you get done reading this, I guess you'll be a pro. Bungee stick. Traps or blockades. Okay, I don't know what the barricades do, but... Uh, it shows you how to make all this stuff. A book. Oh! 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 Wow, that's that's cheapo. That's pretty cheapo. Uh, a couple patterns, a string, some paper to make a book. I thought it needed leather. Uh, go ahead and just toss a piece of paper and a binder thing together, though, because that's a lot cheaper than using a pattern to make a book. Well, that's the end of that. Uh, this one, Materials and UN Modifiers. I'll go ahead and do a brief summary. Um, tools. Pickaxe, that's for using, that's used on stone. Uh, it needs a head, a tool rod, and a binding. Those are cheap to make. A total value of two units. Shovel, total value of one and a half units. Uh, needs a shovel head and a tool rod. Hatchet, total value of one and a half units. Yeah, uh, Matic uh, looks like it requires two and a half units. Broadsword, two units. Longsword, two units. Rapier, two units. Now hold on a minute. What's up with all these swords? Huh? 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 Now, unless you are a really fast reader and you've been reading the entire page every time I click this button, uh, I don't think you'll know what happens here. A broadsword, it's been such a long time, uh, Okay, so the broadsword is used for the defense of people. It cuts damage taken uh, whenever blocking by half. A longsword, I believe, is used for lunging. Uh, yep, it sends you forward, and if you right-click holding the rapier, you do a back pedal, which is pretty cool. I mean, I guess you could use it to get away from someone. Uh, frying pans, it's a joke. It does the same thing as the broadsword. The dagger, you can throw it. It's cool. A uh, battle sign, blocking, does the same thing as a broadsword. Uh, it even says there, class, lethal joke weapon. Chisel, it's used for turning various bricks into other bricks and stones into bricks without having to mine them first. Um, well, hang on, what? Oh, okay. Some items can only be chiseled in the crafting grid. I've never read that before. Hammers! Okay, this is where it starts to get really cool. The hammers, they mine all types of stone in a 3x3 three three pattern against the block face that you are facing. That you mine it on. Again, bleh, against the side of the block that you are facing. Or that you're pointing at. Lumber X, uh, entire trees. Um, max height of 30. Oh defined as the leaves on top of the logs. That's kind of silly. And when it says area of effect, mine's a 3x3x3 three by three by three area. It's a fallback if the tree is not found. I believe that that means that if the tree is not felled in one go, but whatever, you can take it however you want. Um, 
the excavator, it does what the hammer does, only that does it for dirt and other similar things that can be done with the shovel. The scythe is used for farming in a huge area. Uh, it works on mobs too. It does a pretty good job of hurting people. Uh, the cleaver uh, blocking, it does what the broadsword does, but it beheads mobs and it's generally more effective. The battle axe, uh, I don't know what TBD stands for, but uh, it's not complete apparently. Uh, it does nothing. So, yeah. Um, harvests wood in a 1x9 tower. Bash knocks enemy farther away than normal. Okay, that's nice to know. Uh, the short bow. What? Okay, well, it just fires then. Arrows can be fired. Is there a long bow? Apparently not. Uh, oh, here's the stone shards and stuff. Iron shard, cactus shard, flint shard, bone meal. That's not too surprising, actually. Uh, obsidian shards, netherrack, alumite, slime, slime. Slime crystals. I don't know what these are for. I believe that they are a actual... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that slime crystals are a crafting supply. They're a unit, maybe. I hear that they're pretty durable. Some of the most durable stuff you can get from the overworld, if not the most. I was told that it rivaled manulin which you just saw had as it has an extremely high durability this is the paper I just showed you how to make paper and stuff uh, well, I, well I didn't show you but I showed you that you can use paper uh, ardite cobalt those are the two nether ores you put them together to get manulin uh, copper I, I don't know if that's included in T-Construct it has to be uh, steel um, the method for obtaining this is unknown. The reason it's unknown is because ores have not been natively added in T-Construct, I believe. I believe. Uh, pig iron. Uh, blood iron and emeralds. Okay. Nice. Well then. That's cute. Uh, tool stations. Diamonds add durability, emeralds add durability, redstone makes it faster, moss makes it grow itself. These were all covered in the last video. This was also covered in the last video. Lava auto smelts. Um, lava crystal. Uh, apparently, oh yeah, I showed y'all how to make the ball of moss. I didn't show you how to make a lava crystal. I'm sorry about that. But you can see it here. Fire charges, those are expensive. Bucket of lava, sort of expensive. Blaze rods, I consider those to be extremely expensive. Um, luck, sharpness, oh, oh, okay, I needed to use blaze powder instead, we'll see what this does, uh, necrotic, silk touch, I showed you that, well, I, ex I explained that one to you yesterday, uh, reinforced obsidian plates, use those to make things stronger, I guess, oh, it stacks, Okay. Hmm. Um, knock back. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Ah, uh, what? Beheading. Hmm. That's interesting. I've never used this. I don't delve this this deep. I haven't yet. Uh Bane of arthropods. Smite. Consecrated soil tool station. Is this the battery? Yeah, this is the battery. This is what I want to do someday, is make a really powerful tool like mm, something that doesn't need a whole lot of durability, but it's really fast. And just slap a battery on that little boy. Yeah! Uh, what is this? Huh. Extra modifiers. Another extra modifier? Huh. Interesting. What? 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 For the creative types or map makers in the world, this item is for you. It doesn't tell me what it is, though. I want one of those. 
I want one of those. Give me one of those. What is that? I told y'all I got distracted very easily. It looks like Stonehenge. Yep, I'm done. This video is getting way off topic. I'm gonna hop back down here. Uh, what did we just learn? I need blaze powder. Blaze powders. Lots of blaze powders. What is this? It's interesting. Um, we'll just try typing in head. See what shows up. Golden head. Huh. And we'll go ahead and throw on a golden apple. Recently dubbed the Notch Apple in, I think, 1.8. And we'll need another block of diamond. Because I'm, I'm, I'm rather peeved that I wasted a whole bunch of... What happened on my mouse tweaks? Goodness. Kind of ticked that I wasted a bunch of the one modifier on this guy. Now you'll notice I have mining fatigue. You get that when you carry in this. Let's see what happens. Wait, how much is that? 18 again. 18. Just like last time. I go ahead and pop out some more iron. Uh, pump out a pumpkin. Craft ourselves another iron. Golem. Hop back over here and throw on some blaze powder. Now, you're wondering, what does the blaze powder do differently from... Why do I have such insane lag spikes? I might need to put more memory into my recording device. Uh, blaze powder makes it incredibly stronger. Uh, Firewise, it burns longer. So if I put this on here, uh, it'll tell me burn duration is four seconds. on the extra enchantment if my mouse will stop glitching out. Uh, that gives us an extra modifier, throwing on the golden head. Hmm. Well, that's it for that. Uh, let's see. Mm, we'll go ahead and throw in the Ender Pearl. In oh, whoops. Ender Pearl. Oh my goodness. Is it my mouse? I should have a good battery. Should. What? Okay, that's cool. Um, and Obsidian. I want to see what this does. And since we have an extra modifier, we'll go ahead and throw on the piston. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nice! Nice color distortion! And you can't even see the pistons, so... Make one more of these so that this will... Alright. Alright, let's go see what this does. Okay. Uh... Um. Uh, da, 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 da. You'll see that it has a large list of things going on here. It's made out of manulin, it has an extremely large durability, it does extreme damage, supposedly. Uh, burn duration is 9 seconds. 
chance to be head is 30. That's cool, I guess. Can that be leveled up any? Can we upgrade the chance to be head? Uh, doesn't look like it. It looks like it's completely maxed out. Um, and all that other cool stuff. So we'll go throw in to our little pin here. And... Hello, sir! How's it going? Would you like to be a test subject? Cool, thanks. 44. 44. 44. I... In the words of Mumbo Jumbo, my heart nearly jumped out of my mouth. Bam! Two hits. Iron Golem. Dead. That's nice. Uh, go ahead and hop back into creative. Build a shelter here for zombies. I don't want the zombies getting out. And I don't want them dying. And I don't want to accidentally delete my item. My one sword. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Uh, let's see. I want something insanely strong. Spawn nightmare. That sounds pretty mean. Oh, I'm on, I'm on survival. I'm on peaceful. Uh, easy. I don't know if this is gonna... Has 100 health? That's cool. It's not catching on fire. Come on, man. What are you, a man or a mouse? Do something. That's quite the lame animation you got there. Okay, that was a pretty sad boss mob. Slimes. Ooh, that slime has a hat. Once again, I got distracted. Pixies. It's a cool story, bro. Uh, anything else really powerful? I don't think so. So, that right there, my friend, is some of the cool stuff that you'll get from... What's it called? Uh, I'll go ahead and spawn in a hammer for you and show you how that works. Get me a T-Construct manual and hammer. Examite? Hmm. And we'll need an excavator. Go ahead and pull out a manual in one of those, too. What is this? Wow. Those are some weird names. Uh, even in creative mode, it realizes that I'm holding an excavator, so... And the hammer. Oh. Okay, so I guess it doesn't apply to bedrock. So I will pull out some stone here. Just make a general mess everywhere. Alright, and this hammer clears it all out. And like I said, it does it according to the block face that you're facing. So, let's say I'm pointing at this block face, it's going to clear out this block, plus this block, this block, this block, that block, and these two, but nothing above or below, because it's only a 3x3x1 three by three by area. So we can use this to our advantage. In clearing out large blocks. And that's done. So, I'm pretty sure that that's all for this tutorial. Uh, kind of. Uh, if, you, if you're if you redstone adept, I sort of am. You can use a redstone input to turn on your faucet here. 
maybe. Uh, aluminum brass. I know that you can pour that by itself, so there you go. You can use redstone to turn that on. You can redstone to turn these guys on, I believe. Um, that's it for that. On the next video, I'm going to be showing Yogscast users specifically, and anybody who has a select variation of mods on their system installed, how to integrate those with Tinker's Construct. So, I hope to see you then. I don't know if me and you are in the same family, mod-wise, but whatever. I'll just go ahead and hop over here. That looks pretty cool and cinematic. I might take a screenshot. Screenshotted! Alright, and that, my friend, is all there is to today's video. Um, except this jukebox. Alright, I will see you later. Well, I don't see you anytime, anytime but either way, I'm gonna boogie. Goodbye!